Good morning, guys. I have a super excited episode for this channel today. Uh, today's the first day I have the Old Town Autopilot 120. First trip out. I am so stoked right now. I'm headed to a local lake. We might do a little bit of bass fishing, but mainly it's just to test out all the features and just to see what it can do. Let's check it out. guys i'm out here on the water i kind of got the hang of it i've been uh driving for about i don't know about two minutes boat ramps all the way back there now this thing holds butt guys holy cow i am in love with this machine uh to be honest at first i um i was a little confused on why the motor wouldn't pair it was having a pairing issue Su super simple fix it was this magnetic guy right here this needs, the motor needs to be fully deployed down for you, uh, for the motor to pair. Um, that's obviously a really super important thing. Such a noob mistake, but uh, yeah. We're out here on the water. I did bring a couple fishing poles with me today. I got two of them. I think I might start fishing with a frog or something like that. But yeah, the, today's mainly just a, uh, a test it out on the new water rig. I really feel like this uh, this piece of machinery is gonna do a lot for my channel, and, and mainly in terms of it's gonna get me where I want to go. You know, on my days off, I only got a couple days off of work each day. I, I really don't want to be paddling, and, and uh, yeah, this is just gonna get me where I want to go without little to none effort. You know, I guess the hardest thing you'd say is just unloading the boat and, and loading it back in but that's just uh you know a normal thing with any other kayak but yeah see how she does all right guys test te uh, time to test out some uh features here we are going to hit the spotlight obviously you can see we got a, a decent wind going here i'm getting ever so closely to this grass structure here i'm gonna go ahead and press this spot lock button right here and uh, see if it works before I get too close to the structure. Oh, looks like it definitely is. Wow, that's awesome, man. Oh, I'm so stoked with this new kayak. This is just, honestly, for the money, I think it's worth it. Most most bass fishermen, you know, with with the iPilot feature, you know, a, a motor is two thousand dollars, and then you know, just a you know, a normal two thousand dollar kayak. So for forty five hundred dollars total. This just has all of it, and I can get into shallow water. I can get into tighter spaces without having to spend that, you know, extra thirty, forty, sixty thousand dollars on a, a a sweet bass boat. You know, I I'm just so thrilled with this. Obviously, you can see it's just holding me right where I want to be. That is awesome, man. Oh, this is sweet. Well, let's see if we can maybe do some fishing. I got a couple lures today. I got a a little swim bait. It says a fluke. I just call them normal swim baits. Just come cheap zooms. Um, a little cinco type deal. Yeah, that's all I really have today. Oh, oh wait, I do. I did. I lied. I got a, a spinner bait and uh, I got a couple frogs in here. But yeah. All right, guys. I'm coming up to the first fishing spot. Right now, I just have it straight, and I'm using my pedals right now. Um, this thing is sick, guys. I'm gonna hit it on spot lock right here. And, um, oh, wrong button, spot lock. There we go. And you see this motor doing some action. Oh, man. I'm gonna have a blast on this thing. I'm gonna catch a million fish on this thing. All right, guys. Let's do some fishing. First, first lure today is just a little frog. I may switch up to a spinnerbait here in a little bit, but yeah. Let's, uh, I think 
I'm a I'm a stand up type of fisherman type of guy. I like standing up for sure. Let's uh let's see what this thing can do. I may, you know what? I'm actually just gonna get a little bit closer here. Just get a little bit closer. I wanna show you guys how easy this thing is. How easy it is. All right, kick the motor on, turn myself around. Man, you, usually when I have my other kayak, my paddle kayak, I'm just sweating before I can even throw my first, uh, first uh, frog out. I'm gonna get real close up into these so I can work this structure right here. And I'm gonna get a little bit closer and hit the spot lock. Bam. Spot lock is on. Now it's time to fish. Now we're ready. Cool little accessory that I got is this uh, Yak Attack rod holder. I got it for like $30 at Dick's Sporting Goods. I bought this thing before I even put this kayak in the water. I just thought it was almost necessary, you know? Check that out. 30 bucks, lock your rod in there. If you get a fish, it's gonna be stay. It's, it's not going anywhere. That's awesome. Yak Attack, check that out. Beautiful day on the water here. As you guys can see, there's a pretty good wind going. I'm going to go head across the lake, probably about a mile, mile and a quarter. Uh, hopefully there's a little bit less wind, but honestly guys, this spot lock is just holding right where it needs to be. It's taking the water, it's taking the waves. I just need to get some fish in the boat now. We are looking for the first bass on this boat. This boat has plenty of storage in the back. I mean, if I when I go saltwater fishing, I'll probably have like a cooler, a uh, little uh, live well bait bucket type deal. Um, and you can see the the fin in the back is just working pretty sick. Pretty. The next feature I want to test is this north face button. Essentially, wherever your motor is facing, like if I want to point it at that dock. I can go ahead and press this north face button right here. Press that. You see how it says north on there? It's going to keep me aligned with that dock. And you see how it will correct a little bit? It's going to continually correct my course to head towards that dock. This is an awesome feature because right now I'm using frogs. I don't want to use frogs anymore. It's super windy. I want to change to more of a uh, deeper water lure, maybe like a rattle trap or a spinner bait or something like that, or maybe even a worm. This gives me the time to rig up my gear while it's continually facing this. Now my back end may be turning just a little bit here and there, but it'll always get me towards that dock. Well guys, we definitely are fishing in the hardest time of the day. It is absolutely midday, probably 12 exactly. I feel like they don't want any part of this uh, chatterbait. And yeah, I'm getting through some weeds right here. I think I'm gonna change up to, uh, change up to a, a worm or something. They definitely don't want any part of this chatterbait. get on the dang hole. Let's see if one of these uh yum yum dinger can uh, do the trick. Totally tons of weeds through here. I 
I think that'll, uh, that may produce one today. Like I said again, it is absolutely midday. I think I'm definitely have to fish this ultra slow, let her drop. There we go, guys. First fish. First fish on the, oh, it's a little baby bass. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. I will take it, guys. First fish on the new kayak, guys. Oh, man. It's just a little baby, but look at that. <laughs> so, obviously, changing up your bait, changing up your tactics. Uh, definitely changing to the Yum Dinger was definitely a good idea. Um, that was probably a third or fourth cast on the Yum Dinger. Man, I'm gonna put this guy back. Thank you, little guy. Woo! All right. <laughs> First fish on the new kayak, man. I am just... Honestly, guys, if I don't catch another single fish today, I'm happy. I got out. It's my day off. I'm loving life. Look at how pretty it is out today, guys. Man. He just choked that too. This kayak is uh, the Old Town 120 Autopilot is doing great. It's, I mean, I got it right in the middle of these weeds. It's not super thick, but it's it just spot locking me right where I need to be. I'm kicking the speed a little bit. See you later. Man, this thing is so cool. Easy as that, guys. This kayak is just awesome, man. All right, guys, I fished for probably about 30 minutes. I caught only one bass. It's a small little guy. I had an awesome day today, though. My, uh, I would have fished for a lot longer, but my GoPro died. I just came back all the way to the boat ramp to get a second battery just to finish up this video real quick. Guys, I'm pulling out of the boat ramp now. I had a blast today testing out my new Autopilot 120. This thing's sick. I can't say it enough, guys. You need to get yourself one if you want to get to the spot and not have to sweat. No paddling, man. man. I work hard enough. On my days off, I want to enjoy it. No more paddling for this guy right here. No more. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Enjoy, have a good one guys.